Hello Java lovers, here we are back with another tutorial. This is related to create a calculator program in Java using Swing. So let's get started. So I already have a program of, ja uh, of calculator in Swing. So I'll be explaining you what all things I have done and I'll walk you through the code and then we will execute this and we'll see how uh, our calculator works so let's start so here in the first section we are importing the required packages for example we are we will be using jframe and swing jlabel text field button action listener and action event and grid layout so all these packages would be required so let's go ahead here we will be creating a class set calculator so this would be our uh, one of the class set calculator and uh, another one is simple calculator class so simple calculator is our main class since it has the main function so the execution will begin from this and one more thing that since this is our main class so you need to save this program as the name of this class simple calculator dot java so this is mandatory so you should follow this and uh, you will be writing the main function inside this inside which you will be creating an object for our set calculator class which is this one so you will be creating a object and then you will be calling the functions you will be calling the methods of those using this object so what we will be doing is set default close operation so we will uh, say jframe exit on close so the program will also exit and then uh, we will set this to be visible uh, we will set the visibility of this to be true and then we will set the size of the uh, of this frame to be 300 and uh, 300 by 500 so uh, these things we will be doing in the main class and now let's go through this set calculator class so this set calculator class extends the class jframe and implements action listener so this is our interface action listeners we will be impl implementing its method in this we have defined certain variables so we have uh, level 1 level 2 and level 3 to display the text uh, to display the text labels that we are going to provide then we are create uh, we are creating the variables button plus button minus multiply and clear so we'll be performing addition minus and uh, multiplication operation and uh, button clear will be used to clear out or reset the fields then we will have one text field for input another for input and third one is to display the result so uh, let's go ahead and uh, here set calculator method since uh, as you all know this is the constructor of this class set calculator since it has the same name so uh, this is the constructor which is taking no argument and uh, here in this we are saying that set layout should be this so uh, grid layout we are passing the parameters 5 by 2 that means we should have 5 rows and 2 columns and we are setting the title of the frame to this simple calculator using swing now we are initializing the label so we are creating the objects of label we are saying that this label should have this value and it should be on the left side so similarly we are creating these three labels and then we are initializing the buttons so we are creating the object of buttons and we are providing the text which should be displayed on the button now we are adding event listeners so on button plus we are adding uh, action listeners and we are passing this object so a uh, entire event action event would be passed 
on the click of this so uh, this will trigger this action perform method which will have action event object so in the next thing we are initializing text field since text field would be blank we are not passing any arguments then uh, we are we have created all the components till now that is our buttons text fields and labels now this is the time to add them on the frame so we are calling the method add and we are putting the label label one and then the text field of for the label that is for the input text then then the second label the second text field then label three which will have the result and then the text field three uh, which will store the result then we are uh, putting the buttons and then the last button is for clear here the constructor body ends so as soon as the object for the class set calculator is created uh, this set calculator the set calculator uh, constructor will get called and all these things will get initialized now the part comes uh, that whenever the button is clicked action perform method is triggered uh, and uh, it it receives an argument for, for an event and with the event object we are getting uh, what uh, the uh, the string on the buttons and we are storing in, in the opt variable we are initializing three variables uh, to perform addition multiplication and division operation so in num1 variable we are getting the uh, data from the text field 1 since the data in string format we are converting it into integer so integer dot pass and will convert the data from the text field 1 and store it in num1 variable similarly in the num2 variable the data from the text field 2 will get stored now whatever operations we have got if that is equals to the add operation then this operation will get performed that means the addition and uh, the result will be stored in num variable else if the operation is subtract then the subtraction will be performed else if it is multiplication then the multiplication will be performed so the thing here is whatever string we are passing here that uh, that we are going to receive here and uh, on the basis of that we are performing the operation and uh, if the button is uh, triggered that is clear button then we are setting the text field to blank text field to also blanks that means we are resetting all the text fields and at the end we are saying that in the text field 3 uh, the text should be set is the result which is stored in num so we are uh, converting the this to string and we are setting in text field 3 so this is all we are doing so execution will start from our main class and uh, as soon as we create the object demo for set calculator class constructor will get called and this much part will get executed and initialized and uh, after initializing this we are uh, setting the visibility to and size of the frame so it will get displayed and then if we click on any button then we have add these listeners so we add uh, we, uh, if we click on the button then these operations will get performed so done with the theory now let's go and have some demo so since the file name is simple calculator.java first you need to compile it with java c command On successful uh, compilation a dot class file is generated which you can run with simple 
providing the class name so here it is java simple calculator okay so here is our gui for the calculator number one is our label this is the text field let's give it 10 number two let's give it 5 and result will be displayed here so let's try to add it this is 15 let's try to subtract it it is 5 and let's try to multiply it it is 50 and on clicking on clear button it is resetting all the fields so uh, this is all for this demo you can find this you can find this program on our blog too and uh, you can if you google it yeah you can find the complete program for this and the rest of the instruction this is our blog epigip and you can find all the details here so this is all hope you enjoyed learning java thanks for watching keep learning and keep sharing